Capricorn. At this time, blocks are being removed from your experience. Obstacles are being obliterated from your path. There's information, there's energy that's coming into your experience to help elevate you to a place where soaring is the only experience that you will have. Take courage, as this is a time where there may be some discomfort. There may be even a little bit of self-sabotage that comes through to create a situation where experiencing this purely from the heart is not possible. If this is the case, we're going to take some distance, okay, until we can become impartial and unbiased enough to see what it is that we deserve. Capricorn, hello, you beautiful souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you're new here, hello, my name is Zachary. If you are returning, it's good to see you guys again. Feel free to pull up a chair or stand, whatever works for you. So Capricorn, at this time, let's get into your channel messages here. I do have a couple of Oracle cards that were pulled here too. And uh, we'll go over that and then into tarot messages. So a symbol did come through for you guys, a glyph. Um, I do have symbols that come through from time to time with specific instruction. So I'm going to get into this. This one is actually connected to another symbol from a cancer reading earlier this year. And um, so there's a two step. This is the second time this has happened where spirits connected this to another symbol. And the first time actually that it's connected it to a symbol that I have not finished channeling yet. So I'm just so excited to get into your guys' reading. This feels like a very interesting energy. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to show the camera here this first symbol. You can pause it so you can draw it out and utilize its function. This is called Into the Unknown. Into the Unknown. <laughs> Into the Unknown. So um, it doesn't matter so much how you guys draw this, okay? Just getting that out. I'll give you guys instruction here on how to utilize this. So Into the Unknown. <clears throat> first of all... <laughs> We are going to go back to Cancer, like I said, and I'm going to show you the symbol here too. This is the beginning of ending. So again, if you want to pause, you can draw this out, the beginning of ending. So step one here too. Uh, step one here, <laughs> and then into step two. Um, we're going to start with the beginning of ending. What we're doing here is burning this. So the intention of the beginning of ending here is a form of consent, as this is being explained to me. This is giving permission for something to be removed from your experience so that something can come in. Walls coming down, so to speak, is, is kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. So draw this out first. Burn it. Okay, step two. Then we're going to move into uh, the unknown. End of the unknown. So into the unknown here, the instructions for this. <clears throat> First of all, I was told inch by inch, we move into this frontier. I ask, what is this frontier? The heart. I'm already getting chills on this. Basking in the truth, basking in the truth of this, of this, um, the light of the heart. So step one, you're going to start with the beginning of ending. Step two, once you draw the into the unknown symbol out here, you're going to hold this up to a source of light. The sun, I would say, would be optimal um, since it is the, the brightest form of light to be able to permeate through that paper. We're not staring into the sun, okay? <laughs> it doesn't have to be the sun. You can use any light source that is near you. Um, the intention of this or what this is doing, or, or the instruction, excuse me, is to soften your gaze. So to soften your gaze as you're looking at this symbol here, this softens the heart's fortress. Okay, love this, you guys. <laughs> Getting chills on this already. So we're removing, it feels like a barrier, something that has been mm, protecting the heart for a minute. And we're inviting ourselves, first and foremost, to come into this space. Maybe we've never been there. Maybe it's been closed off for a minute because there's been pain, right? Um, this could involve other people too, new friends, new connections of some sort, could be romantic, family, allowing others to come into our heart space and not in a uh, an attempt to defile anything, but it feels like there is a call for connection. So getting into your oracle cards here, you guys got distance and soar in the Urban Crow, Urban Crow Oracle. So um, distance. <clears throat> This is where this message of needing to take a step back if 
you're feeling biased. Um, if you're feeling, so the way the book describes this is, um, there's potential here in a situation. This feels like a relationship of some sort. There's potential here, but there's also uh, a hang up or obsession even towards a flaw or some flaws. Can you see the potential here even with some flaws? If this is the case, what I'm getting is, is someone here is feeling the merit in something, but there is something from the past. It feels like pain, betrayal, heartbreak, three of swords kind of energy is preventing you egress. It's preventing you from being able to, to freely go into your heart space to soar, right? So the request here is if you're feeling that way in a situation, it's important to take a step back from it so that you can um, regroup, so to speak, to identify what components are coming up and what it is that you really want to do with that. So soar coming through here. No obstacles, you guys. This is where blocks being removed is coming through. Taking courage. It's your time to soar. I love, I mean, with the symbols that came through first and then moving into the Oracle cards, I'm just like, snaps for Capricorn, okay? I'm here for this. All right, let's get into your message a bit further here, you guys. Oh, I got so excited. There was a couple others that came through. <laughs> um, in, in meditation, what I was told was undulating effort. So undulation is um, a back and forth. It is a back and forth, but it's a, it's kind of a smooth transfer. It doesn't have to be, it's not a quick motion. So what I'm getting from this is as we're talking about the heart, um, there's a need, there's a need to step away from this back and forth, like one step in, one step out. I'm not quite sure is kind of, kind of what I'm feeling. But again, it's not a quick motion. This is kind of a, you know, at some, some points you're like, yes, I'm ready for connection or I deserve this connection. And then at other points you may sequester yourself to the corner or feel that this isn't something that you deserve. Right. Or that maybe you can work through. Okay. Um, so the symbol, yes, <laughs> the next symbol that is connected to this, um, spirit showed me this symbol again. So this symbol, and I mentioned it in Libra's reading uh, a couple months ago when it came through, I was given the title. I can see what it looks like, and I'm not going to show you guys yet here, but just a little teaser trailer <laughs> um, and the instruction for it, but I don't know the function of it yet. And I have not been given the function yet, but it feels connected to something that we're doing with the heart and it's called Supreme. Um, whew, chills on that again. I'm really, really excited to when this comes out. Um, and eventually I will, those who have been following here for a minute, I will get an Oracle deck together so that you guys can utilize the function of this too. As I'm seeing, as I'm going along here too, I'm being instructed that there are um, symbols that go together. So this makes sense that this is taking some time. So I appreciate you guys, you know, as as you are patient with me in getting these together and spirit. If you're interested in looking for some more of these symbols, feel free to go back and watch any of my previous readings here in the past. They are all timeless. Okay, let's get into animals, animal message here. The wild unknown animal spirit guidebook. What do we have here for Capricorn please spirit? Additional messages. <laughs> I love this. Hey, speaking of soaring, <laughs> this is awesome. And a motorcycle just takes off out here. <laughs> I love, I am really excited about this energy, you guys. This feels so awesome. So the eagle, <laughs> the eagle here, actually, I'm being told to just read this from the book. 911 there on the timer. Um, that is kind of my number for asking for help or it's okay to receive help. It does feel like there is a, a need to receive and a little bit of a restriction towards that. I feel like this is kind of from someone else, that connection piece. So all pervading power, truth seeker and transforms karma. Okay. The noble eager, eagle, <laughs> eager, <laughs> maybe you're eager. I know I am. <laughs> the noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. <laughs> And this symbol, like I said, we're looking up, we're looking up to the sun with it. Oh my gosh, love it. This great bird is both physically and spiritually strong and represents mastery over the elements of fire and air. When the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. Get ready, take courage. 
The ego pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine. Grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. So in balance, bright, radiant, and challenges when out of balance, controlling. To bring into balance, step into the unknown. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't, I can't even make this up. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get really red here. <laughs> it's right here. I got to show you. Step into the unknown. <laughs> into the unknown, you guys. My, my goodness, my intuition has just been super, super accurate lately. And I'm not sure why I'm not going to question it. No, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Maybe you're experiencing this too. Could be as we're getting closer to the veil thinning here. Oh, that just I'll close the reading off here. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Into the unknown y'all. <laughs> I love you too, spirit. Okay. Let's get into your tarot messages here. My goodness. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the Murder of Crows tarot here for you guys to start. 11-11 on that timer too. Two of Swords here at the split. There's a need to make a choice. I feel like this choice is um, partaking in this magic, or releasing something in general to allow something to come into your experience. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what do we have here for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Um, huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Thank you for your love and support. Queen of Cups here at the split again. Protecting the emotions. It's time to let some barriers down. Woo, this feels like a pretty clear message so far. If you're interested in channel membership yourself, you can check that out. There's a link in the description of the video as well as a join button next to the subscribe under this video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to take you guys along on this beautiful ride. And if you need help with something a little bit more particular to your situation, I do have personal readings open. You can check out my website. There's a link in the description of the video too. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please, Spirit? <laughs> oh, I love you guys so much. I love you too, Spirit. Six of Wands here at the bottom. This is your hope, hopes and dreams. So we're talking about victory, you guys. There's a component of recognition to this too. I feel like for some of you, you're in a position where you know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe you haven't met somebody here new, whether this is friendship or, you know, um, romantic relationship, potentially even business, whatever. Um, you recognize, you recognize maybe there's a connection there, but there's this fear that's popping up. There's a need maybe to take a step back. If you're feeling biased, you see potential in a situation but then uh, you also see a couple flaws, which of course we all have flaws. We're all human. Everything is flawed. So um, I love this, you guys. Victory though. Um, this is also surviving the war and coming, coming back and being celebrated for this. It's a celebratory victory. This is your hope. I feel like you guys are, are you're ready to be done with the war too, okay? <laughs> This is so exciting. Um, Spirit, what do we have here for Capricorn? Second deck we'll be using here. <clears throat> this is the uh, Untamed Tarot. Almost forgot there. Untamed Tarot. What do we have for Capricorn, please? And this is a general message, everybody. So please keep that in mind. You guys are very intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher if these messages are for you and which parts. If they're not, please feel free to leave them behind or please do leave them behind. Don't try to force it or make it fit, okay? These are meant to validate, not to illuminate. All right, what do we have here for Capricorn? And check out any other part of your chart. We do have every sign in our chart as we go through these archetypes throughout the year. Um, highly encourage uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius. My most recent of those came through pretty powerful too. Nine of Pentacles here at the bottom. This is your fear aversion. I do feel like there is, um, and this is interesting, there's sometimes a need to get moving with the Knight of Pentacles. They're the only Knight that isn't moving. Um, there's a need to make a plan with the Knight of Pentacles, a plan of attack here. The fear anxiety that I'm getting with this is, um, for some of you, maybe something's moving a little bit too slowly, but for others of you along the same lines of this message, it's getting going, period. Like I said, something from the past here is pulling you back and there's, 
you want to move. You want to move from the spot. You want to experience that victory and success. But there's also fear that's coming through. That's making that difficult. Okay, let's get into let's get into this, you guys. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. All right, general here to start. We have eight of swords. Look at that beautiful Gemini energy. <laughs> so eight of swords here, we're feeling trapped in the mind. We're getting ourselves stuck, worked up in a tizzy is what I'm getting. Maybe not so much worked up. Um, it's this focus on the details. It's this focus on maybe the flaws. Like I was saying, there's a need if this is you where you're seeing potential somewhere, but also noticing that maybe there is a little bit of self-sabotage that's coming through or you can sense that this is this is that feeling stuck in in a trap of some sort. We're not trapped, though. If we were to look at it a little bit differently, we can see the way through here. We can see the egress. <laughs> I love this, you guys. Oh, I love, love, love this. Six of swords comes through here next. Transition. It's time to transition. <laughs> so we're talking about freeing ourselves from binds. Totally. Both of those symbols that came through, um, well, the new one that came through in meditation and the other one, into the unknown and um, uh, the beginning of ending. This is the beginning of ending. So with the consent component of that, I feel like this is the fare to ride the vehicle this is moving from a war-torn area where there is fighting, where there is anger, where there is pain, to where there is peace. This motion, though, doesn't just, you know, appear in our lives. We have to make the decision to take that ride, okay? So this is coming down to choice if this isn't clear, you guys, always with the tarot. <laughs> Good stuff for you. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Four of Cups. This totally makes sense. <laughs> this is dead on here. Um, Four of Cups. So there is an offer coming through here. And this feels like uh, some sort of connection. It could be um, work-related for some of you. But this starts with human connection, whether it's work or uh, relationships, right? It all comes down to relationships. It's not about what you know. It's about who you know. So in this situation, there is, um, I feel there is a divine offer of some sort, a divine connection that's coming through. We can miss this, though, if we're stuck in the past, if we're stuck in negativity, if we're stuck in obsession. Like I said, if we're obsessing about maybe some flaws, we all got flaws, right? God knows I do. I know I do. I know all you do, too. <laughs> we're in great company, right? Um, I love this, you guys. This offer can be missed, though. Like I said, if we're stuck in a state where we're not paying attention to what's outside of us. It's time to soar. It's time to get up off, off the ground here. You spent enough time in contemplation. Now it's time to act. Now it's time to live your life. Ooh, I love this, you guys. I love this message for you. Uh, Page of Wands comes through here to clarify. Yes, <laughs> in the good stuff. You have energy here to start this new journey. This is my put me in coach card. So it's not just energy, but it's excitement. You're excited to do this. Maybe you need to take a beat, step away, get your mind straight. Maybe you need to do this a little bit along the way. That's okay. It takes time to rewire the brain, right? Especially if this is something that's been going on for a while, that eight of swords energy. That's okay, Capricorn. Oh, this is so exciting, you guys. I want a little bit more on this. And I was, I felt called to pull out my 8-bit um, tarot deck. So this kind of made me feel just very, like, inner child fun. I love it. Can we get some clarification here on the good stuff for Capricorn, please? The High Priestess. I feel like there's another one here. High Priestess. Um, there, and Ten of Wands. Yeah, totally. Ten of Wands, it's time to let that burden go. Something that's been weighing heavy on the heart. You've come to the end of a journey here. Or you're working yourself towards the end of a journey. Okay? To the beginning of ending. It's the beginning of ending, you guys. The High Priestess here, I feel like this is the ending component and this is the beginning. So the High Priestess, it's this component of the fertility that we find in the subconscious realm is what's coming to mind here. You are, we are... 
maybe not always in control of how this multiplies in the subconscious, but we're we are in charge of, or we are aware of, or we are able to control the conscious mind. The conscious mind is the masculine force that impregnates the feminine subconscious within us all. So beginning of ending, we're talking about releasing something and allowing something new to grow. Ah, oh, you guys, this is so, I love this. Love, love, love. Um, what's in the dark here? Ah, okay, what is in the dark here? What you don't see coming. <laughs> temperance so this could be if this is like a, a relationship um you know friend romantic whatever they could be sagittarius here they could be um gemini uh cancer pisces i mean we'll get we'll keep going into this scorpio i feel with the eagle exalted form of scorpio yeah, eagles, I mean, come through here a little bit. I'm just tickled pink here. So what you don't see coming or what you don't see in the dark is that things are balancing out. This energy that's come through here, so far, you're being given the tools and you're being given the encouragement for balance, for peace, taking something that's been at the extreme and bringing that more into a place of centered experience. Oh, I love this, you guys. This may take some time. This could be another component that you don't see. This could take a little bit of time. Like I said, there could be a need to do this over and over again. And don't, don't get down on yourself if that's the case. We win when we realize that the only way we fail is that we don't get back up. Okay? Um, protection is also something that's coming through here with temperance. Your guardian angels, right? Maybe, maybe for some of you, this pain could be lost. Maybe you lost a partner or friend in the past. It is kind of coming through here. Someone is saying, don't keep yourself down. I may not be, mm, I may not be seen at this time, but it doesn't mean that I'm gone. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. God, this message, you guys, this is wonderful. Knight of Wands. <laughs> It kind of feels, I was just going to say that too. It kind of feels like from this person too, there's an encouragement. If it is somebody that you've lost, there's an encouragement to not keep yourself down, to allow yourself maybe to love again. So Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, there's a component of allowing yourself to get back up and try again. Whatever that horse is that bucked you off, don't let it keep you down. Get back up and try again. Spontaneity. This is bringing that joie de vivre, right? <laughs> Bringing that je ne sais quoi back into your life. That fire, that drive for life even. To allow yourself to soar. Somebody clipped your wings, ugh. And this could be, this could be in the vein of, you know, trauma, abuse, that sort of thing, but also, like I said, loss. There could be loss involved here. Maybe you clipped your own wings. Mmm, yeah, I'm getting chills on that. Whoever that message is for, I feel a very strong encouragement from somebody who has passed on here. They want you to love again. Oh my God, and I'm even, oh man, this is going to be maybe a tricky one to go back and watch, watch myself. I um, haven't really shared, you know, I've shared bits and pieces of my story here, but I, uh, oh, and did hit a year here as well in the channel. So I keep forgetting to say that until the end. If you guys are interested, I am giving away a free reading to celebrate that. Um, I'll have a video posted in this corner. At the end of the video, you can click on for instructions on how to enter. Um, but not to get too far into it, my, uh, my ex-husband actually passed last year this time. Um, here in a few days, actually, and he was a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just seeing the, um, applicability of that message even for me. So maybe, maybe you're somebody as well who has lost, um, lost somebody, okay, that you used to love. And, um, if that's the case, I am getting a strong message here of don't allow yourself to stay down. You deserve to love again. You deserve to let... I mean, this whole message has been about letting something go and allowing something new to come into this beautiful space. Oh, 
I know this is, I, I would start crying right now if I weren't so excited. If you've been here for a minute, you know, I get drawn to tears pretty easily. <laughs> Can we get some more clarification here on what's in the dark? Anything else? The sun. Okay, maybe I'll get emotional. There's eight of swords there again. It's time to let ourselves out of this trap, you guys. My goodness. This is a happy inner child. This is success, abundance. There's that illu the illumination of the sun, the symbol too. Raising it to the sun, into the unknown. We're going to grab that sun with our talons. Oh my God. Spirit, I didn't want to cry in this reading. <laughs> It's a happy cry. Oh my goodness, you guys. In the sun, the sun card here too, the color of the flag and where it's sitting here on the child represents um, victory over difficulty. Okay. That's been coming through this message too. Oh, Capricorn, what a beautiful reading. All right, let's get into your obstacle at this time, difficulty at this time. Yeah. Four pentacles. Our foundation, our security, feeling safe. This is, yeah, this is where it's tricky. Whatever this opportunity is, you guys, it, it would not be triggering these components inside of us where we don't feel safe. It wouldn't be possibly rocking our foundation in the way that it is unless it were, um, well, number one, meant for us and meant for our growth. It's time to shake up this foundation, not not to shake up everything, you know, where you feel safe. This the difficulty, though, right now and the encouragement is to allow yourself maybe to work on it. Go pour a new foundation. What I'm seeing is a cracked foundation here, like this one has gotten to the point where it's no longer salvageable. It's time to to pour a new foundation to update that foundation. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> so exciting. And Nine of Pentacles comes through. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, being in your difficulty, clarifying this here. So um, this is your sovereignty. Independence even. I feel like for, for some of you, this is a romantic relationship. And you're seeing the value or merit in a potential situation. And there's fear around... Well, maybe foregoing sovereignty or independence. If this is the case, the message that's coming through on that is this is not, this does not have to be a situation where you are sacrificing your independence. You can still be independent and interdependent at the same time. Ah, that undulating. Oh, oh my goodness. That undulating sway I was talking about in meditation undulating effort <laughs> this message has just been my goodness dead on here um that undulating effort is coming because of this because there is the sway between you see the merit you feel the attraction you feel the magnetism and you're drawn to that and that's a good thing and then you're also coming back to this place of but what about my independence that's the only thing that's kept me safe how can i trust somebody else <sighs> Let's see. How can we trust somebody else, Spirit? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles comes out here. Mm, five of Wands was underneath this here, too. This is an opportunity to level up, you guys. Um, it's not the Five of Swords where it's conflict and they're fighting for the sake of fighting. This is an opportunity to train, to level up. This is a leveling up opportunity. Major, majorly. Ten of Pentacles. Ultimate material and spiritual abundance. Moving from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is inside the Ten of Pentacles, right? So your independence still lies within this unit. But this is, this is um, a legacy, a legacy relationship potentially. So the Nine of Pentacles still is inside of the Ten of Pentacles. There's also an additional Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities that are coming. This doesn't mean that you're foregoing your independence or your sovereignty, you're adding to it. Oh man, you guys, this reading is one of the most beautiful readings I've had in a minute. I mean, these past few, wow, I love you guys so much. Okay, I wanna pull 
Any other advice here for Capricorn at this time? I feel like we do a three. Let's pull three here. <laughs> oh, Cappy Cap. Strength, determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. Yes, I can totally see how that fits into this message. Um, courage is a part of this. Peace, peace and contentment are coming to you. Yes, this opportunity, that Four of Cups, that offer is peace and contentment, baby. Baby. <laughs> Last one here for Capricorn. Woohoo! Abundance and inflow of money lover rewards. These are happy tears, you guys. And happiness, new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Blah, I love you guys so, so much. Okay, I'm going to pull an oracle card here, and then we're going to move into an extended reading. Which, which deck do we want to do here, please? Blue Angel. So we're going to pull Blue Angel oracle card here for Capricorn. Um, in the extended reading, if you do want to join me there, we're going to go over direct messages from your higher self. Love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your current thoughts and emotions. So what do we have here for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Top. Okay. Angel song is what comes through. Choice here at the bottom. This came through for Sagittarius, Sagittarius reading. Um, I encourage you to, to take a look. Sagittarius is a little bit of a different vibe <laughs> than this reading here. But uh, we need all vibrations. Choice here is reminding us that there isn't a right or wrong choice. The, I mean, the only wrong choice is not making a choice or not choosing you. Okay? And in this instance, choosing you is choosing to maybe go through a little bit of discomfort and opening yourself up. There's something here that has merit. Okay, Angel Song. Um, and 17, too. That came through Scorpio. Scorpio's reading. 17 is the star. Oh, the star card. <laughs> after, after all of this tower shit, right? You're guiding light. I feel like you're being guided here. Ugh, goodness. I love this. Lost and found. <laughs> this is probably going to make me emotional, too. You have followed the script perfectly, taken all the necessary steps, and done all the right things. You have put a lot of effort into getting where you are. But as you approach the final stretch, your original desire no longer seems to matter. You feel as though you have lost your way. It no longer feels right. Yet, know that nothing you have done is a mistake. All is worthwhile and will eventually serve a purpose. Just like the symbols. <laughs> you will rediscover the right path for you, and it will lead you to a golden future. Let it all go for a while. The right path will become obvious in time, not through rational thought and analysis, but through a feeling in your heart. For a long time, you have been guided by what you thought you should do. Now it is time to be guided by your heart. Love will guide you to that which you love. My heart is my sanctuary, my guide, my truth. It leads me along a sacred path. My destination is love. My destiny is even brighter. You guys, what a beautiful energy here. <clears throat> Just stunning. Stunning, stunning. Um, thank you for letting me read this for you. I love you so much, Capricorn. And I hope that this is helpful in some way. I hope this helps obliterate through these blocks. Like I said, I'm going to move into the extended. Okay. If you want to join me there, links in the description, I do have them for sale individually. And also on the third tier of membership, if you want to check that out to have access to all of them, personal readings are open too. I'd love to help you guys out. And if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate the support and growing this channel. Um, I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. If you feel called to donate to the channel and support the channel in that way, I truly appreciate that too, you guys. It's not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, it goes a long way. I couldn't do this without you either. Okay, Capricorn, please take care of yourselves. You got this. You got this. It's your time. It's your time. I'll see you all soon. Be well.